Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven in class again today. How have you been? We are going to show you how you can get the lens, yeah, the lens of um, different linear fissures using QGIS. And then the linear fissure we are going to use on today's video, uh, yeah, on today's video are uh, roads, right? We'll do that linear fissures we are going to use. Different roads we have um, in reverse, but this is some of the yeah, some of the different roads. So you know you can see these 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 are adjoining states. Sorry, adjoining local governments, right? Good. These are adjoining local governments, and then these are some of the road networks that we are extracting. So we are going to show you how you can get the lens of these um, of these roads, right? Good. So the first thing is that um, let's go to the open attribute table now you can see the different attributes and then you know that um have been used to come up with um, that particular layer right good now another thing to note is that sometimes or let's say most times it's preferable to have your data set in projected and um, coding reference system however it might not really be of um, great significance so it might not really have much effect on this particular concept right good so if you are doing some other linear stuff and then your data is in projected sorry geographic you have to change the crs to what to project it right good so now let's um, open the field calculator now under the field calculator we are working on this particular layer called them um, primary underscore highway underscore obk right good now these are primary highways within them um, obiaco so now let's give it um, a name. Let's call it um, L. This should be length, right? Good. L E N G T H. Good. So now let's call it length because we don't have um, a field that was created already for that. So we are creating a new field. And then we want our result to be in decimal, right? Good. So now let's come down to geometry. What we are trying to do is that we are trying to get the length of those lines in that particular layer. So we have what length now it says and um, returns the length of a line string if you need the length of a polar line or polygon use parameter times the, the length calculated by this respect both project ellipsoid settings no. so you can just um, read through this either via the video or when you're practicing right now you can also see the preview it has given us a preview of the length of a particular line it's starting with right good so now this is the procedure if you have a shape file or maybe a different vector data you want to work with you can just um, go to the attribute table and see if you can actually run it through like that. Good. So you just click on OK. And it's done. So now let's scroll down to the end. You can see what the length, right? But now these are the lengths of the different rooms or let's say the different lines. Now let's see if we can sort it. That's the shortest and then this is the longest. So now let's um, click on this um, longest. That should be somewhere around there. Good. Then let's um, zoom to let's zoom to the fissure to see which particular road. Okay, good. We can see it somewhere around there. So this is the length that, according to the attribute table from the field calculator, or the field calculator from the attribute table, has the what the longest length, right? Good, about um, 6.945 kilometers. Now another thing, just an addition, if you want to have yours. Um, other than meters right if you want to have your lens in a different unit it's still the same procedure you go towards the open um, field operator right remember what we are trying to do is that we are trying to change the lens in meters towards to kilometers so that should be divided by 1000 of the length in meters right but so still decimal then let's come to fields and values Remember the first time we went to geometry directly, right? Good. So now we are coming to fields and values. Then we select that particular field. You can see the preview. However, I want to perform an operation on that field by dividing that field by 1000, right? Good. So now we just click on OK. Good. So you can see the other, you can see the corresponding lengths in what? In kilometers, right? Good. So this is how you calculate or you determine or yeah these are you know the lengths of um, different linear fissures and um, using the field calculator on QGIS so if you have any other question if you have contribution if you have a comment you can you know get back to us 
via the comment section or you send us a direct message and we are going to get back to you as soon as possible so until we see you on the next video keep staying safe and have a very good time bye